Now, one of the most important aspects of any editing project is organization. One of Media Composer's great strengths has always been how well it manages and organizes metadata. When Media Composer 5.5, that takes another huge leap forward with new find functionality and the new phrase find option. Let's take a look. Now in Media Composer 5.5, when you do the old Apple F or Control F for find, you're going to notice a whole new set of options. Let me just zoom in here so you can see this a little better. So what we have is a new find dialog that gives you a primary search area, as well as options for searching through your clips and sequences. That'd be all your clips in the bins, any sequences in the bins, as well as any script text, or as any, any metadata in the timeline or the monitors themselves. Below that, you have uh, different filter windows for customizing or filtering, obviously, uh, exactly what information you're looking for. You're also going to tell it where you're going to look. Are you going to look in the bins in the project, scripts in the project, uh, just the current bin? You decide what you want to look at. You can choose whether or not to ignore case. And when you find those clips, if you double click them, will it load them automatically into the monitor? Down at the bottom here, you notice these two buttons or two icons. Uh, these are for indexing. This basically is telling me how much of the project that it's sifted through and is, is aware of. So with these buttons lit, lit up green, so here bin index is green, that says that Media Composer is aware of all the metadata in the project and is ready for me to start searching through it. So I'm going to step back just a little bit. And in this project, um, I shot some of this using a Canon 5D. And I want to look for just the uh, material that started as 5D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say f under Find, I'll do something like, um, well, I know they'd be MOV files, so I'll put in MOV and say Find. And right away, Media Composer says, I've found 73. I haven't filtered anything yet, so it still says, after filtering, 73. And it gives you uh, your results in sort of a common bin setup. I can go in and adjust the columns as well as select which columns I want to appear. Now, I want to be a little more precise in what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go in and add a, a filter. I'm going to say, um, I want to see just the stuff that we shot on December 30th, or it was created on December 30th. So I'll go through and go to creation date and put in 12-30. So now you can see it knocked off a couple of clips. After uh, filtering, we now have just 71. So once I found the material I'm looking for, and, and remember, this um, you, know, you can have a very huge project. If you look in my, my project window, I have a ton of bins, lots of clips, and it can be a very tricky prospect um, without this kind of find functionality. So if I found the clip that I'm looking for, just double click, it opens up the bin that clip is located in and automatically loads the clip into the monitor. Let's try another one. And this time we're going to use uh, custom metadata because a lot of times you're going to add your own metadata information uh, depending on how you want to organize the project. So let's say I want to find very specific um, shots of a certain character. So I want to find this character uh, zero. So I'm going to go in and type in zero. Remove that filter there. OK, now what I want to do is I have actually added a metadata column called character. So see under character, again, look for zero. And let's see if that's showing up over here. So you can see, OK, there's my character column. I've identified that zero, the character zero is in all these shots. And now I want to see just the medium shot. So I also created a custom column called shot type. Let's go in there and type in uh, medium shot. And now it's filtered down to just the medium shots of that character zero. So you can see with this kind of find functionality, it really makes it a lot easier to find just the right material that you're looking for. So these have been examples of looking through clips and sequences. The other tab we have here is script text. Now Media Composer has the ability to import uh, scripts into the application. And rather than opening up the script itself, you know, I could just double click and open the script um, and do a find that way. But what if I have multiple scripts in the project, or I just don't want to sift through a very long script? I can just do it right from this window and say, I'm looking for, let's say, I know there's a scene where they mention uh, they're, they're playing poker and they're, they're playing Texas Hold'em. So I'm going to type in the word Texas and say find. And then it's going to bring up those lines from the script, or scripts if there was more than one. So I can just double click on whichever line I want. It will open the, the appropriate script and highlight that word at the very line. So this is a very cool functionality. Um, and important to point out, the, uh, script functionality in Media Composer is a standard thing. Script sync, which is the ability to synchronize uh, clips to text, 
is an option, but anyone can import into Media Composer a script and uh, use this fine functionality that I'm showing you here. Now, the next option you have available is uh, Timeline and Monitors. And this is going to search metadata within your timeline or in the monitors themselves. So you can see I have a sequence here that's pretty basic. It's about four shots. And what I've got it set up to do is under Clip Text, I'm showing the clip names as well as I've added comments. So I step back out. Uh, you can see that I've made a note to flop this shot later on uh, during editing. So what I'm going to do is zoom back in so you can see this a little better. And you can see that under Timeline and Monitors, I have three more options. That is to search locators, clip names, as well as timeline text. So I know I've made a note to search for, or I know I made, I made a note that I need to do some paint work on one of these shots. So what I'm going to do is just type in the word paint. And I'll zoom back out. And when I say find, it is going to jump to that locator in the timeline where I've made a note to paint the sky. Um, same thing with clip names. If I want to search for a very specific clip name uh, or multiple clips, let's say I want to find a shot B6. Just type into the box B6 and find. And it's going to jump right to that shot in the timeline. And as you might have guessed, same with timeline text. I know that I made a, a notation to flop. I'll just type in flop. And it's going to search for that comment right within my timeline and jump right to that point. So you can see the find functionality in Media Composer has just really come uh, leaps and bounds from where it was in Media Composer 5.0. Now, aside from all these great improvements that were made to the basic find functionality of metadata in Media Composer, is a really cool new add-on optional feature called Phrase Find. And what Phrase Find is, is very similar to uh, the scripting feature in that it's, it's using uh, Nexidia's phonetic indexing technology to analyze all the audio in your project. So in this case, I want to find, um, you know, I, I, I know that somewhere in there they said, well, let's use that example of the Texas Hold'em game. So we used it to find the script. Let's do the same thing to find all the clips where someone might say the word Texas. So I'll just type Texas back in. And I'm going to check just to make sure that my, my index is done. So just like the bin index, the phrase find index is green. So that means that Media Composer is aware of all the audio in the project. So now when I click Phrase Find, it's going to go through and analyze all the audio in the project to find what it believes are uses of the word Texas. And I'm just going to make sure I turn off my filters because I don't want to filter anything out yet. So it's found 147 clips. And one important addition to uh, what I would call this bin display is the addition of this score column, basically giving you uh, an indication of Media Composer's confidence that it got the right shot. So you can see it ranges from 96 uh, down to 50. Uh, generally, I find that anything below 80 is probably not right on the mark. So I sort of tend to, obviously, the higher scores. And just like we did with um, the regular find, we can filter out material. So if, I'm, if I know that um, I, I want to have audio 1 and audio 2, I might go and search and say, or even better, let's say I want to make, bring up only the offline material. So I would go to video and say, just show me the DNX 36 material. DNX HD 36. OK, so now we had 147 clips. After filtering that out, we're down to 61. So now let's step back out and see uh, how we did. I'm going to go to my first shot here. It's going to open up the bin and load the clip. Texas Hold'em. So you can see it nailed it. It jumped right to that point in that clip, the mention of the word Texas. Let's try another one. Texas Hold'em. Again, so got it just right. And another really great way of accelerating your ability to find exactly the material that you're looking for uh, within the application.